What is going on YouTube? Back here for another episode. We are currently driving. We're, uh, we're on our way to the gym. Uh, it is leg day today, quad dominant. It's been a rough one this morning. It's been, uh, energy levels are super, super low right now. And, uh, you know, just had to do what I had to do, take a nap, just reset, get a meal in me and wake up and let's get this workout in. And then we have a couple clients later tonight. So, Koda's getting ready. Are you ready to go to the gym, mister? Koda, are you ready to go to the gym? He's always ready. So yeah, we're on our way to the gym. It's, uh, how far are we now? 16 days, actually. Oh, why are you crying? Oh, are you crying? Yeah, we're 16 days out now, so we're getting close. Just under two and a half weeks. Uh, we got to push right now. Energy levels are super low. Coach is pushing the the low days extra right now. We up the cardio a little bit more, um, but you know that's part of the game. Energy levels are kind of up and down right now, but uh, we want to get that condition as best as possible because conditioning wins wins shows. And uh, although last year I had good shape and good condition, we want to bring it a little bit better this year. Uh, so really want to nail it. So today we're gonna push. We're not doing cardio today because we're we're only doing cardio five days a week. So I try not to do cardio on rest days. Oh, sorry. Wow, see my brain's not working. Trying to do cardio on quad days, and sometimes on my rest day too, I'll I'll, uh, I'll do no cardio on that day, and then do the cardio on the other days. Got my pre-workout mix, like always, PhD Black. You know, just a couple thoughts leading into this is just. My emotions are through the roof right now. You know, like everyone that's been through prep knows that like you get some really high days and some really motiv motivational days. Other days you start questioning life, start questioning why I'm doing this, but those are the days that you push through, you get through them. And uh, and, and once you get through the days and, and push through the hard workouts, it becomes that much more rewarding so that when the final day comes, you know you've actually done everything possible. You didn't give up, you didn't cheat on your diet, you didn't miss workouts, cardio, nothing. So it's it's a rewarding feeling at the end and only people that have been through prep will know the feelings of how low, low it can get and how mentally draining and, and difficult it can be because it's not just a physical sport, it's, it's a lot more so mentally than anything. To be honest, the physical part is easy. Like, we train. I've been training all the time. Training is not the hard part. It's it's the other hours in the day when you're tired and you gotta, you know, live day to day stuff. You gotta pack meals. You gotta meal prep. You gotta get groceries. You gotta live life still, and do this at the same time and work. That's when the challenge really happens, and that's where mentally you gotta be strong, and you have a good support system, um, whether it's your partner, your friend, your coach, opposing coaches, whoever. You know, it's someone that you can talk to when you're having these difficult days to get you through the days. So it's, uh, although it's a lonely sport, you do need a very strong support system to get you through um, because it's a very difficult, complicated sport. And like I've always said, I, I've played a lot of sports growing up in my life. And I'd like to say I played at a, high, a pretty high level, like for most sports. And I will still say, even though some people will say it's not a sport, the actual act of it is kind of more like a pageant, I guess, but leading up to the pageant, the show, is a sport in itself. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do because playing soccer, playing football, doing martial arts, you know, you train and, you know, once the competition's done, once the soccer game's done, once whatever that you're playing is done, you can go back to normal normal day-to-day -day stuff. While bodybuilding, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what, you can't miss meals, can't sleep, can't miss sleep, you gotta take all your vitamins because it's your look, your appearance. So there's no there's no off time, even off season, it's like people, you know, take the off season so gentle and that's when you're making the most progress. So it's it's a sport that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, it never ends. So that's why only certain people can do it because you gotta be a little sick in the head to do it. But it's a very rewarding sport too. So that being said, I'm gonna drink this pre-workout and I'll see you guys in the gym in a little bit. I made it to the gym now. We're getting our stuff. I'm gonna go roll out for a few minutes and then uh, we'll get this party started real quick. So 
Let's go. We're just gonna warm up here with hamstrings first. Even though it's quad dominant day, I always like to warm up with hamstrings just to get the knees nice and lubed up. Uh, we'll probably do a superset from hamstrings to leg extensions just to get blood flow in the quads and the hamstrings real quick before we do any uh, compound movement. So, all right, let's get warmed up. Now super excited with leg extensions. Nothing crazy, just pump them out right now. Just get some blood in there. Next, we're gonna do the pendulum squat. Nice and easy on the knees. We're gonna just focus on the pump right now. We don't have any PRs, we're just almost close to two weeks out, so this one we're just going for the contraction. Trying to deplete the muscle as much as we can and keep burning calories as much as we can. So let's get warmed up first. Said right now, we're not going in too too crazy. Numbers aren't going to be that impressive, but we're just going for pure contraction. Really, really squeeze the muscle. Really bring out that detail as much as possible. The last last little bit. I think this is my second last strong quad workout. Next week will probably be my, my last last one, uh, depending on how the schedule goes. And then one one or two more leg workouts hard, so we got to make this one count. All right, let's go again. Dizzy. Next on the list here, we got leg press. We're just doing the same thing. Pump it out. We're, the whole point of this is just getting a lot of blood flow to the quads, just really pump them out. So we're gonna test out see how this feels with two plates, and then we'll play out on a little bit more. So let's get this going. Let's try this again. Last big major compound for quads. Do the vertical press. Ooh, sorry, horizontal press. Uh, this one really focuses on quads. I'm gonna go narrow sense on this one. Really get a nice deep squeeze. 
This is another machine that's very, very good for your knees as well. If you guys don't have this, put a different variation, but this angle on the money. Let's get some weight on this. Now let's go. Notice how I V out here. I get the knees close to my shoulders and squeeze and V out. Open up that hip, squeeze from the hip flexors all the way to the knee. You never want to lock out the knee first. You want to squeeze from the quads first and then lock it. off single leg extensions just really focus on the contraction really squeeze it out and that's pretty much it for quads here but let's make sure to make it count like i said earlier make sure you want to contract using the muscle first don't think about locking your knee out first to squeeze the muscle squeeze the muscle first to move the knee That's a wrap of today's workout. Like I said, short and sweet. Five, six exercises, pump them out. Didn't push any PRs, we pushed a lot of volume. As you can tell, the quads are pumped up right now. It's exactly what we wanted. So, we pushed in the last couple of days. Um, prep is kicking in right now, so I don't know what else to say, but thanks for following. Please like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please help me. I'm really trying to reach at least 500 followers, uh, subscribers on my channel. Slow baby steps, eventually then aim goals to get 1,000. But right now, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you guys next video.